The Royal Orchid Sheraton was opened by Her Majesty Queen Sirikit of Thailand on July the 23rd, 1983. In its heyday, it was frequented by members of the royal family and dignitaries, as well as the internationally rich and famous. But this time next year, she will be celebrating her 40th birthday, and some say she's past her prime and could do with some much-needed, shall we say, cosmetic surgery. Here are some of the comments recent customers have said about the Royal Orchid Sheraton. And they're not very nice. All this hotel shares with a five-star hotel nowadays are its service quality and prices. Its restaurants are largely overpriced and rooms definitely need more than just refreshing. It needs revamping. The bath was stained and the windows aren't really floor to ceiling. The outside of the building also needs a new coat of paint. Beware the infestation of birds outside that will jump on any unattended plate. The hotel did try to get rid of them, but unsuccessfully. Also, the pool looks very, very old. But the view of Icon Siam makes it all worthwhile. Huh? This is another one. These are edited. The staff, however, seems a little tired, much like the building and the decor itself. The rooms are comfortable but are starting to show their age and I would rather stay at one of the plethora of choices in the city. The ambience of the hotel is pleasant although a bit jaded. Another one. Room was nice, a tiny bit old, but the view was great, good location. Unfortunately, they don't have a spa or a good restaurant. Yeah. And even more. The hotel is outdated and can use some improvements. Next up. The hotel is more a four star than a five star rating, being 30 plus years old. It's slightly dated, restaurant is okay, but basic. In brief, it's not worth it for the price. Old rooms, even the upgrade was old and broken. So let's find out if all those niggly little picky comments from recent guests here are actually true. Okay, I have to admit that some people have, have complained about the fact that the water temperature changes while you're having a shower, and I have to admit that that's actually true. But you are in a hot country, so uh, you can have a cold shower if you want, you know, but uh, if you want to change the temperature, be very careful, and it could change at any minute! Oh, I think I burned my arse! The hotel provides a classic style riverboat that will take you to the famous and very popular Icon Siam which I'll be featuring in another video. And if you want to get the boat on the way back, it stops off at a couple of other locations so it takes about 20 minutes. But it's a lovely way to get a little boat ride on the Chow Phraya River and what makes it even better is it's absolutely free. I should point out that besides the gym, they do have a spa, but it's closed for renovation and because of COVID. One of the good things about this gymnasium is if you haven't got big balls, you can get them here. Now, one of the other complaints was that the pool looked very, very old, and it does, but maybe they didn't know about this pool, which is very, very clean. It's also got a little jacuzzi and a poolside bar where you can sit in the pool and have a drink. There's a quiet little garden here where you can relax just past the pool. And they used to have peacocks here. But now they just have lawnmowers, which is a shame because I would have liked to have seen the peacocks. Then as luck would have it, up popped a peacock. Hello! And she seemed just as curious to see me as I was to see her. But then she was distracted by the hotel guest playing tennis on the hotel tennis court. Until she spotted a possible snack, which you could call 
peacock popcorn, I guess. It's very difficult to make something look really dirty when you're filming. So can you see if the hotel actually needs a fresh coat of paint? From what I can see, yeah, it could do with a fresh coat of paint, but it's not as bad as it's been painted. <laughs> I like it. Now, Long Island tea looks good and it's a big one, so. Oh, a bit tangy, a bit sherbetty. Some Long Island teas actually taste like they've got sherbet in it, but I, and I don't know why. But for 218 baht, you can't complain. And as the sun sets over the Chow Fryer River, we're going to have dinner. Now, because I don't have a highly successful travel and eating TV program, it's very difficult to show a wide selection of the foods in the restaurant that we're in because I simply don't have the money. So when I spotted a couple who'd just been served about half a dozen dishes, I went over and said hello and could I film them? I get a bit cheeky when I've had two Long Island teas before dinner. My name is Juan Vitaan. Oh, okay. Hi, I'm Don from the Netherlands. Spring roll with the trim, fried vegetables. Fried vegetables. Spicy noodle with shrimp. Tom yam. Tom yam shrimp. Oh, I yes. love tom yam. Baby bread pepper. Beef bread, yeah. Bread. And of course, rice berry. Rice berry. Deep fried prawn with tamarind sauce and brown rice. And mine is soft shell crab in yellow curry with jasmine rice. Well, if it tastes as good as it looks, it's going to be very nice. This is only one piece of soft shell crab, which is very large, and there's about four pieces that size, and usually soft shell crab is very expensive, but this is less than 500 baht. Very mild. Good soft shell crab. It doesn't get chewy, you don't end up with bits of skin and stuff, and this is perfect. I have to say that that's one of the softest and tenderest soft shell crabs I've had. The yellow curry, when you, when you put it in your mouth, it's very mild. You can taste, you know, traditional stuff, coriander, tamarind. And then it comes back and starts to hit the back of your tongue with the chili flavor. That is one deep fried prawn in tamarind sauce. The tamarind is so sweet. The batter on the prawn is very light. Mm -hmm. And the prawn has a strong prawn flavor. But in a good way. Mm, delicious. We've also got satay pork, beef, and chicken with the usual condiments. And as it said at the front of the menu, everything comes at once, you know. Traditionally in other countries, you get your starter, then you get your full meal, but in the, the Thai way is everything comes at once. Definitely recommend this place, definitely. The, the very, very good value for money. With what we had tonight, the whole thing came to just over 2,000 baht. And um, I think that's a very, very good price. If you can top that, let me know in the comments below. I know you won't. Did you enjoy the meal? It was very nice. So everything was nice. What was your What was your favorite? Oh, oh, very hard for me. Actually, <laughs> I love seafood. I'm a fan of seafood. So yeah. I love shrimp, the spring roll, and also this one also very nice. The spicy noodle, uh -huh. shrimp, very very nice. The shrimp is very 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 fresh. Yeah. So, yeah. It's my good. Favorite. How about Pleasure. you? What are your favorite? They were all very good. I was surprised by the beef, how good that tasted with the peppers. I'm not a pepper fan, but yeah. uh, the, the way they make it, the flavor, they make it, just fantastic. Everything was great, but yeah, I think that's my favorite surprise. Good, good. We, we were talking earlier on about um, all the comments that people were making, and those comments were like from a few months ago, a month ago. They were all quite recent. And uh, one of the comments who were saying was that this is not a five-star hotel, this is a, a four-star hotel. Well, I can agree in one 
way that it is a four-star hotel when it comes to the prices. If you are tourists visiting Thailand, I know there are so many nice five-star places, bloody expensive. Mm -hmm. But this one, if you're on budget and it's between like standard room I'm talking about, yeah. uh, between 3,000 and 4,000 per night. The yeah. staff is really, really friendly and helpful. If we're talking about the room, if we're going to nitpick, yes, it, it's a little bit worn but they made gone to great lengths to try and improve things mm. but it's a little yes it's a little bit worn out mm. you can see that nice view too we're on the 19th floor and this is the view from our room and every one of the 720 plus rooms in the hotel all face this view from a higher or lower level. So that's worth every penny. So to sum up, the big swimming pool is great, smoking area with a garden and the peacock will come and say hello and the Thai food bloody excellent definitely top of the range definitely five star top of the range um the italian giorgio's looks very good and i saw people eating their foods and that was it looked good the pizzas mm. looked bloody good as far as all the people complaining they were just nitpicking now whatever anybody says about the beds the beds are nice uh, it's a firm mattress but just right and the pillows are a little bit firm but just right again you know it's uh, Snow White and Three Bears <laughs> anyway good for me and there's four pillows too so you've got plenty to play with so uh, that's it from me I'll see you tomorrow sleep well good night god bless Good morning Chow Friar River. This is the Riverside Grill area and this is where you go for breakfast if you're having breakfast. Having breakfast by the Chow Fry River. Very quiet. It's going to get very busy soon and uh, I don't suppose I need to show you what I'm going to have for breakfast but I will anyway. There it is, and if you're paying for it, it's going to cost you 500 baht per person. Breakfast is good, and I like the bacon. The bacon is uh, well cooked, but not American style, crispy as hell. It's uh, quite tender. One of the complaints we read was about the pigeons coming and stealing your food and everything. And we've been out here for about 35 minutes, 40 minutes. And as yet, there haven't been any bird strikes. But if you're not into the heat, then I suggest you stay inside because um, I'm not sure what time it is now. It must be something past eight, about half past eight. And um, it's getting very hot already, even though it doesn't look like it. The only problem is if you're going inside when it's uh, about this time, then there's a lot of people in there that are playing hip-hop style music and a lot of people in there are actually quite loud. So we decided to skip brunch because we had quite a big breakfast and we didn't finish till nine o'clock. So uh, we're just going to have something to eat at the poolside and my missus wanted pad thai and it wasn't on the menu but they made it for her because they're that nice. And the garden by the pool is the perfect place to relax and have a cigarette and get up close and personal with the peacocks which for me was one of the highlights of our stay and if you know of any other hotels in Thailand that have peacocks in their garden let me know in the comments below and talking about comments it's an old hotel but it's all about the location you can't beat it two nice swimming pools pools what I enjoyed most was the view of the river and the breakfast buffet which included a good selection of cold cuts and cheeses.
My stay was great. The best I had in BKK. Staff was very polite and spoke English. This was one of the nicest Sheratons I've ever stayed at. I also love the products they use for their toiletries. The shampoo, conditioner, bars of soap were all super quality. The service was impeccable. The staff did not hesitate to go out of their way to make sure you were happy and satisfied. Nice one. Staying in the Royal Orchid Sheraton is top value for money. It's hotel which feels more like home. The staff hospitality should be applauded. As far as we were concerned, we had a great time and we'll definitely go back. And I hope you had a great time and we'll definitely come back to living the Thai life. Please like, subscribe and comment because I'd like to get monetized before I die. Bye!